What's up, my new friends? So the event announcement has been released for the collab event. So here are five things I think are most important for you to keep in mind on. So the first thing is the duration. So the duration of the event is around two weeks. So 13 days, starting from 13 of January to 24 of January. So if you do want to get the units, this is your only time to get it. Uh, if you are you know, not free on the 13th, you can join on the later date to summon, but don't go over to 24 of January. So the second thing is the price draw guide. So the price draw guide is uh, sort of like an event draw within the event. And the way you get the draw ticket is by spending prisms. So when navigators spend prism, stamina item, to clear stages in certain game mode, main story stages or resource stages. Basically, when you spend Prism, you will get uh, dinner plates, which can be used to win awards in the event prize draw, Toru Kitchen. So in this kitchen, it says that you can get up to 3,300 low members. So this can be another temples for your um, Toru summon or Kana summon, uh, whichever you choose. I'll talk about it later, uh, how the banner works. And you will have a four star collab exclusive Aurorian Fafnir and his Soul Amber. Uh, so basically, you can get a Fafnir Soul Amber from the event draw, which is free. So basically, you can get a Fafnir maximum breakthrough for free. And also, Fafnir can be getting one copy for free by just logging in, which you can see here. Log in for one day, four star collab exclusive Aurorian Fafnir. Uh, so don't miss that and after you get the login Fafnir, you can get the rest of his breakthrough from this event summon and of course there's other stuff which is the uh, legendary breakthrough material the the star crest and you have some furniture which is called toru grill tail and also wood carving and a very important one is this thing which is Dragon Maid Aurorian Selection Box. So this one is for you to select either Elma or Lukoa. You cannot select 6 star, unfortunately. Uh, so this is something you can get in the event draw. So keep in mind before you go too deep into summoning for either Lukoa or Elma, do know that you have a selection box specifically for these two units only. So. <laughs> If you summon too much, maybe this box was, will be useless and you probably will not be able to get this immediately. Uh, so this is something you have to keep in mind. Uh, and then we have the Aurorian Trial Sage. So this is basically like a testing ground for the event characters before you actually summon. And by clearing the Trial Sage, you can get 200 Lu members. So I believe each is 40 then because there is five of them. Okay, the third thing you have to keep in mind is the banner. So there is actually two banner. One of them uh, include Toru and Lukoa. And another one of the banner is uh, the Kana and also Elma. So it's actually two different banner. And uh, like usual, the chance you get Toru is 50% if you do get a 6 stars. And the chance you get Lukoa is 25% if you do get a 5 star. You see here. Uh, 50% will be Toru when you get 6 stars and when you get a 5 stars, 25% will be Lukoa. And this is limited banner, which is what they mean exclusive. They will not be going back to the main state banner after they are gone. So like I said, this is the only two weeks you can get these characters. Uh, and for the Kana banner, it's the same. 50% will be Kana and also 25% will be Elma. So obviously there's also the um, guarantee mechanisms. So the third six star you get in the banner will be guaranteed the rate up units. So let's say you get two six star that is not Kana, the third one will be Kana. Uh, however, I believe the pity from this banner will not carry over to the future event banner. So if you want to go deep, you have to go all the way until you get Kana, unfortunately. And since there's two banner, if you want to get every single unit, you do have to summon on both and probably have to go a little bit deep if you're unlucky. And the fourth thing to keep in mind, if you are a new player, you do have to clear main stage six, uh, one to 16 before you actually able to uh, play the event. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to do this to summon, but if you want to play the event, you do have to clear the main story stages, the first chapter basically. So yeah, there's that. 
And also the last thing you have to keep in mind, if you do want to spend money, there is um, packs in the shop, which is much cheaper than just topping up. Uh, the first one is probably the most worthwhile one, which will give you some loom members, uh, stuff there, which is a uh, summon and some prism, which help you clear some sage, uh, leveling your units up. And it's 83%. I believe this is $1 pack. And you have some other pack which is also pretty good value like uh, you can see here 67 percent value 66 percent discount something like that uh if you want to uh, spend money these are good place to look at before you topping up directly right so yeah that is pretty much every single thing uh, you have to keep in mind for the next collab unit banner i hope you have a good luck summoning for them i definitely will be summoning for at least one copy for each of them because i'm a sucker for limited units i don't want to miss out especially even though i'm free to play but since uh i think their kit is pretty meh uh, it's fine to just get one copy just for nostalgic stake even like in the future look back wow I actually got this unit so if you haven't watched my prediction for the collab unit what element they are you can watch the video show on the screen right now i'll see you all in the next video and don't forget to subscribe peace